Hello everyone, if you are creating a budget for expenses or measuring any objects, then you know how important it is to round up decimal numbers to simplify our calculations. So we can easily do this in Excel by one click. So this is Jihad Rianjim from Excel Demi and today we'll learn several methods on how to round up decimal numbers in Excel. Before going into the methods, let's talk about the data set a bit. At first, we have the numbers from C5 to C8 cells. And our target is to round up these numbers to decimal 3 to 0 according to our wish. So, without any further discussion, let's get started. In our first method, we want to use format cells to round up decimal numbers in Excel. To do that, we'll select the C5 to C8 cells, copy it by using Ctrl plus C in the keyboard. After that, we'll go for D5 to G8 cells and paste it by using Ctrl plus V. Now, we have our numbers in each and every column. At first, we have column D where we want to round up the values from the decimal number 3. So, we'll select the values D5 to D8. After that, we'll go for Ctrl plus 1 in the keyboard to open the Format Cells dialog box. Here, select the number section and go for the decimal places. As we are trying to get the three decimal values, so we want to write three in the decimal places section. Here, you can see the overview in the negative number section. Now, if you click the OK, then you'll get your perfect result up to three numbers decimal. After that, you can do the same case for each and every case for 3, 2, 1, and 0. So, that's the final result of the number format cells. That's how we can easily use number format to solve the problem. Now, we'll use math and trig drop down option to solve our problem. To do that, at first, we'll go to the D5 cell and after that, we'll go to the formula tab. Now, in this section, we'll select math and trig section. And here we can easily go for the roundup function. After that, the function argument will open on your screen. And in the number section, you can easily select the values input. In this case, it is C5 to C8. As we are trying to make it permanent, so we'll use F4 in the keyboard. Now, we'll go for the number digits, the values you want to get the decimal numbers up to. In this case, we'll select the D4 to get our decimal numbers up to 3. If we click OK, then we'll get result for your very first cell. Now, drag down the formula from left to right side to get result for every cell from 3 to 1, 0, minus 1, and minus 2. So that's math and trick down formula for you. We can also round up decimal numbers up to certain number digits by using round up function. To do that, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the round up function. The round up function takes a certain value and round up the numbers up to a certain number digits. As we're trying to get the result from the C column, so select C5 as our value and we'll use F4 to make it permanent here. After that, we'll go for the number digits. The number is are written here in the D4 cell. So select D4 as our number digits up to three decimal numbers. So we'll select F4 again to make it permanent. And after that, we'll hit the enter button to get our perfect result for the three digit decimal numbers. Now drag the formula to the very last cell to use it for every case. Now again, take it to the left side to right side to get the result from 3, 2, 1, 0, minus 1 and minus 2. So that's round the function for you. We can also use ceiling function to get the same result like the previous method. At first, we'll go to the D5 cell and insert the ceiling function. The ceiling function is used to round up a number to the nearest multiple of its significance. Here we have 
two parameters number and significance. At first, we'll select the C5 as our input value of number and then we'll use F4 in the keyboard to make it permanent. After that, we'll go for the significance, the value we are multiplying with it. As we are trying to get the result from the D4 cell, we'll select D4 as our significance and again use the F4 in the keyboard to make it permanent. If we click the enter button, then we'll get a perfect result for the D5 cell. Let's talk about the result a bit here. If you look up to the C5 cell, it has 163.425 and when we have round up to multiply it by the 0.25, then the outcome came to the 163.50. This is the value of the multiply of 0.25 assign in the digit after the decimal point. Now, if you drag down the formula to the very last cell, then you'll get result for every cell. And again, drag down to the left side to right side to get result for every cell from 0 0.25, 0 0.5, 1 and 5 from the multiple of significance. That's how you can easily use ceiling function to get the same result. Now, we'll use VBA code to round up decimal numbers. To do that, we'll go to the developer tab and select Visual Basic here to open the Visual Basic editor. Click on the insert and select the new module to open the new module here. As we have already got our code in the notepad, so we'll select the whole code and copy it by using Ctrl plus C and paste it here by using Ctrl plus V in the Visual Basic editor. Let's talk about the VBA code a bit. At first, we have declared two variables range and cell as ranges which will the group of cells in Excel. After that we have got the range set which basically shows a range object that represents the cell B5 to B8. Now we'll go for the for each cell which will basically use us a for each loop to loop through each cell in the range of the range cell. After that we have selected the cell offset. This portion will go to the selection of cell to the right side of the current cell and go to the right side in each we have selected. As we are trying to get the result from the C column, so we will select the value of 0, 1. That means it will show the result in the column C. After that, we have selected the worksheet dot function round up to. That means it will take the value of the current worksheet and round up the value from the selected cell of the cell value and round up to the two decimal points. After that, we have gone for the next cell and will end the code by using the in sub. If we go to the run section and click on the run, then in our main worksheet, you will see that you have got a numerical values up to two decimal numbers. So that's VB code for you. So that's it for today. You can use any of these methods accordingly or you can download the practice workbook from the link below. Hope this will help you. If you have any questions, suggestions or feedback, please let us know in the comment section. Or you can have a glance at excelim.com. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please consider subscribing for more content like this.